When you think of summer, I'm sure one of the things that come to mind includes a beautiful beach somewhere. But, did you know that the ocean is the largest unexplored place on Earth? Did you know that the ocean moderates and influences climate and weather, while supplying us with fresh water and simultaneously improving our health through its ecosystems? Oh yeah, all of that and more. So when we think of sustainable living, our oceans should dominate the conversation. This video will highlight the most important parts. With the Earth's surface water covered at 70%, the oceans hold most of all the water on the planet. Earth has one ocean. However, it is divided into six ocean basins, North and South Pacific, North and South Atlantic, the Indian and Arctic Oceans. These ocean basins are all connected to all of Earth's water through evaporation and precipitation processes. The water cycle which means eventually all major watersheds will drain back into the oceans, transporting nutrients, sediments, and the most unwanted, pollutants. Speaking of pollutants, our ocean and marine life are violated with plastics and waste materials, which leads to habitat destruction for marine ecosystems. Plastic pollution should be emphasized because our waste entangles itself in marine ecosystems and suffocates precious marine life. Plastics don't break down, when they are consumed by fish and other marine species, it can cause ruptures in their digestive system or lead to starvation. What's worse is that microplastics re-enter human bodies when we eat seafood that contains fragments of plastics. 10 million tons of this trash are dumped in our oceans every year. Don't forget that the ocean dominates the Earth's carbon cycle, acting as a huge carbon sink by absorbing, transporting, or storing 90% of excess heat from increased emissions. Changes in the ocean circulation caused by pollution, ocean acidification, unsustainable fishing methods and climate change produced abrupt changes causing marine heat waves, which have intensified coral bleaching since the 70s. Let me give you a different visual. Think of the ocean as the lungs of our planet. It inhales carbon dioxide and exhales oxygen. However, we are suffocating these lungs as the breakdown of carbon dioxide and enhanced greenhouse emissions from human activities harms phytoplankton that forms the core of marine biodiversity and marine organisms. Marine organisms are used to create medicines that improve our well-being and health. Protecting and sustaining ocean habitats should become a priority for us. Our oceans support the global economy by providing the largest source of protein to underdeveloped countries in the world. To secure the seafood industries, renewable energy and mineral resources, economic development and job opportunities for future generations, we need to take action. This is a global issue, whether you like it or not. How can we rebuild our oceans and restore marine biodiversity? We might not ever be able to restore the oceans to its former abundance, but we can increase the global fish catch. Here's how. Refusing plastic materials minimizes the risk of floating plastic waste pollution. Team up for a beach cleanup. Keeping our beaches clean can reduce harm to marine life and habitat. Non-chemical crew, I choose you. Read the label. Make sure you are aware of harmful chemicals used in your homes that are transported in and through our waters. Are you water-wise? Conserve water consumption by using less. This reduces pollutant runoff into our waterways that reaches the oceans. Organize and strategize by supporting the organizations, driving change. Oceana, Marine Conservation Institute, Surfrider Foundation, Ocean Conservancy, Plastic Oceans, Save our planet one step at a time. Your choice, your change. Thank you for watching.